welcome back viewer today we are going to learn about uh, current divider rule okay in thinkercad so for that first we are going to take a small breadboard in our work plane i'm dragging it to my work plane then i'm going to take two resistors here so you know that in the series connection current only have a single path but uh, in the parallel connection of registers uh, current have multiple path to pass so for that uh, for checking the current divider rules we have to connect this register in parallel okay so we'll be connecting the breadboard uh, this register in the breadboard in parallel connections so um, i have taken two registers in my work plan let's take uh, multimeters okay i'm going to take two multimeters here then now i'm going to change this multimeter mode to amperes then here also same i will click on the top of this multimeter and uh, i will change to amperes okay now what i'm going to do i'm going to uh, I'm, I'm going to require a voltage source or power source so i'm going to search for a power source okay so i got a power supply here i'm taking this to uh, my work plan now so let's start connecting this register into the uh, this breadboard so i'm using this here i connected in the middle of this now uh, again i'm connecting this one to here then i will take this multimeter to to what's my left register okay this is my this is my uh, register one you can see this is my register one r1 we can mention i'm just mentioning r1 and this one is my register r2 okay r2 okay now i'll i will hide my notification now i'm going to do the connection wire connection for this uh, mul uh this emitter so first i'll click here and the same line you see that this register i'm going to connect at the top here and then this one i'm going to connect in the positive line now what i will do i'll click on top of the wire and i'm going to change the wire color to the black and this uh, the another wire color i'm going to click on this wire and i'm changing into red color so same things i will repeat with another register i'll click on this negative terminal and uh, i'll click on top and i will change the negative wire to black and then again i'll click on this positive terminal of emitter and connect it to the this positive line of this red board and change this wire to uh, into red okay now i'm going to connect this to both register into uh, together and with ground so i'll click here you can see the same line i'm taking here this also and i'm changing the wire color into black now uh, i'm going to give the power supply here so i'll use this power supply system and i'm just connecting the top uh, this positive line to positive one now i'll click this negative and connect to the bottom of this this makes my circuit little easier for me to do connections okay now i'll click on this positive source of line to and change it to red so i can identify this is my positive line now what i'm going to do i'm going to connect this register to the ground I, either i can choose this line or this line so i'm connecting this through this line okay i'll click here and i'll connect to the ground and i'm going to change this wire color into negative so i can know that this is my ground wire so i have done with my connections let's start the simulation and check it is it working or not so i'm starting the simulation
and here I have 10 milliamps and you can see that both resistance are having same equal resistance value 1 kilo ohm so that the current getting divided equally so let's see that if I'm changing the resistance value here the first resistor I'm changing the first resistor resistance value to 2 kilo, 2 kilo ohms and then I'm starting the simulation you can see the after increasing the resistance value the uh, current got dropped here 2.50 milliamps and the other where the resistance is low uh, we are getting 5 milliamps okay and the input current is uh, we are having here 7.50 the consumption of uh, current will uh, current is here 7.50 so total this current equal to uh, you have to uh, uh, do the addition for 2.50 milliamps plus 5 milliamps equal to 7.50 milliamps so we can see that resist if the resistance getting increased the current getting reduced here in the but when the resistance is low the current is more going out through that okay so this is the current divider rule we can find the resistance uh, current value easily through this multimeters in connection in the series we have to connect the multimeter in series with that resistor okay thank you so much for watching my video see you in, in next my video please like and subscribe thank you